Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. This is another Lotro Guide video, and we're doing part two of the leveling, um, best leveling areas and the leveling caps of area locations. So, my friends, today I am going to be using my camera because I want to be able to talk to you guys and so you can see me talk, be a little easier. I got my new microphone and stuff, which will be helpful for you guys to understand me. And I will try not to go too quickly with my talking, but at the same time, I would like to get through it for you guys. So, what we're going to talk about today is as follows. I have a cool, I have the Lotro Wiki ready. We talked about levels 1 to 15 in the last episode of a Lotro guide with leveling. So today we're going to talk about the next, like, 20 levels-ish. 15, 20 levels. So here we go, my friends. So first things first, I want to pop up here for you is I'm gonna pop up this display here do do that do, right and um, here it is all right so again we already talked about levels 1 to 15 right so we are gonna be talking about these next levels okay so music's gonna go off for a second but that's all right um we already talked about, again, if you look here from 5 to 15, 1 to 6 is the intro quest, which we talked about that in the last episode, 1 to 15. Again, I knew that stuff out of mind, but I thought I'd give you a visual aid, and I will also have these art, both of these wikis in the links below for you to look at later. If you are like, oh, what did Zolan say? You can go back and look at these, and it'll show you the exact areas. But I'm going to help you what I think is the best locations to level and stuff for you. So the biggest things we have to think about now, is that, again, we talked about Breland, Erdluin, and the Shire, which are those three places we talked about in the last episode. So now we're going to go into past that, which, again, we also talked about Breland level. Remember how I said when you're 15 to 20, you still have Breland? Yes, you can still do stuff up to 20 in Breland, but then you go into the Lone Lands, right? Next, the Forsaken Inn or North Downs, which you get at 20, 25. So that's what we're going to talk about right now, my friends. So keep this in mind for a second. I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and we're going to talk about it a bit on the map now. So we don't confuse you guys. So now let's open up the map. So again, Breland, we'd start in Breland, right? So you're now you've done those three different locations, wherever your starting point was, like I talked in the first one, right? Uh, no matter what race you are, you're going to be doing stuff in Breland with the chapters and stuff. It's going to lead you down this path behind the camera here into the lowlands to the right here. We're going to move over. So now you're going to be in the lowlands. You're going to be going to the Forsaken Inn, right? So the Forsaken Inn is going to be a certain amount of levels up to... Uh, like 23, 24, you're going to be doing stuff in Minas um, Ariel, um, Ariel, I don't know how you say that entirely, but that's how. Then you'll be going doing some chapter quests with um, over here at uh, Candace Encampment, which is the one ranger. You'll be helping him a bunch. So make sure you're doing stuff with him with the chapter because you're going to be going back to him over and over. Then you're going to be doing some stuff um, up here. In this area, you'll see the. You should always bring the quests back to turn them back into the Forsaken. And once you've done the chunk they gave you, pick them all up, do them all, bring them all back. Because then it's going to reopen the next chunk of quests for you, because that's important. So then you're going to move along, you're going to move to Osgaruth. Now, Osgaruth is quite a bit higher level. So if you want, you could possibly just go straight to Osgaruth with your level, depending on what level you are. Osgaruth is more around the level of, I would say, 24 ish. 25, but you could also jump back over, go back from where Lowlands, back into Breland, go up to the North Downs, and right at the top there's Trestle Bridge, right? Uh, Trestle Bridge is a good place that's also, you know, level 18 to 22, and that's that whole front area right here, Trestle Bridge. You'll be doing quests around here. Nan Wathrin, they're more group quests. You can skip those unless you have a group and you want to do that. Um, you can do them solo too. It's just really hard because all the monsters in here are really hard. But there's going to be some quests out here that are easy for you to do. And then you're going to go to an encampment over here where there's a ranger. And there's also a little encampment they don't tell you right here. They're going to send you to do some quests. So follow through with your quests because it will help you get to the next area. Basically, when you finish an area, it'll give you one extra quest that'll say, go talk to blah, blah, blah. And it'll probably lead you to this person over here. And there'll be some quests out here in the Fields of Fornost. If you want, you could skip the Fields of Fornost. I feel like they're kind of extra work. And then go straight up to this horse one, this Amun uh, Wraith, is it? Yeah, uh, Wraith. Amun Wraith, this little tower, like an ancient tower. So you can do stuff there. And then you can move on, and they're going to send you to um, here, which is... Um, uh, let me... There we go. Had more things on. So they're going to send you to Esteldin, which is this this whole little valley. Little, it's like a little encampment of the rangers, a secret inside the mountains. So you're going to do quests there. And then you could be doing quests either there or over back at Oskaruth. Now, Oskaruth, let's talk about this one more second and we'll move back over to the other side. Everyone just take a moment to think of what I'm saying. 
Again, I will give you the links to that article thing that will show you all the different locations and a little bit more details on stuff. But again, I'm trying to give you the thought pattern of what I think would be best for you as a player who's been playing since the game came out. I've been playing since the first month this game was out. So I have experience in it. Uh, so again, you're gonna do a bunch of quests around here, all around this location. For, uh, for Oscar, they're gonna send you back to a couple of these fort fortresses back here to do quests. There's a spider lair. There's like a, a, a dwarf dower hand lair that's bad dwarves. There's half orcs over here. There's Earthkin right here that you're going to help. That's another group of people you're going to help. They're going to send you to do some stuff down here in these swamps. And there's some people over here you'll do quests for possibly too. And then you can go up into um, Aga, Agamaru, Maru, um, this swamp area. There's a big instance over here that you do for fellowships. That's pretty cool. But this is higher level. This is like level, um, I forget how high. It's, it's in the upper 20s, this stuff up here. And there's stuff to do here. Radagast is also here in Oscuruth that you help him with the chapter quest. So you will have to do that with Radagast for sure. So then at that point, now let's say, again, I'm giving you um, options to bounce between. Again, follow the quests. But if the quests start looking, for example, if you're in Oscuruth and they give you the next set of quests and they're all orange and red, three or four levels above you. Remember I explained about the colors of the quests? Uh, depending on what level above they are to you and as you level up the colors will come down closer to your level white is on level it's the same and then teal and the other ones are the lower levels and red and orange are the more dangerous higher levels and yellow um but you could go back to north downs if they're too high level for you pause all those quests go to Esteldon, do quests in Esteldon. they're gonna send you up to this dwarf uh hold of uh i forget what it's called right now let's see what it's called um i'm gonna open these there we go it's the settlement of Othricar, all right? So that's a dwarven settlement, good good dwarves, that you'll help do quests around this area. And then they're also gonna send you down to this elven settlement down here, Lin Gith, um, Lithion. <laughs> Lithion. Um, this area you'll do quests here. And then uh, Steldon will also send you out quests to do back here in this location. So then at that point, you're gonna be getting closer in levels to um 28 29 after doing all those locations um so then at that point you're going to want to go to either there's a couple locations at that point all right so i'm going to pop up this other thing again for you guys so at that point right you can go to um the uh Evendim, remember, I remember how I told you Evendim is also another location you could do for the areas we just talked about. Levels uh, 27 to 28. Both Barton. It's the lower level right outside the Shire, right? So that's another place to think about. So, but let's say now you're level 30, right? So you're getting you're getting up there, right? Again, it shows you here in book three is when you're gonna start level 30. That's the level the book is, because the book is gonna follow you as you level up, right? So um, don't forget to be doing the books the whole time. I know I said that every time, but do the books as you go, guys. Don't just do this quest that leads you to the next area and do the quest in that area and go on, go on. Make sure you do the books. Otherwise, you're going to be coming back and getting the book quests, and they're going to be too low level for you, and it's going to be annoying for you. So make sure you're doing the book quests as you go. Um, now, and see, again, I was right, level 30, 38 to 31. Remember I said Agmaru, that swamp in the lowlands, right? So I was correct on that. And then... It, if the music goes off, it's because I clicked off the game, so don't worry about it. Uh, and then North Downs, again, 30 to 35. So Fornost is the instance, which will be in the North Downs. And also, um, so let me get rid of this for a second. So Fornost is gonna be, again, levels up here in the top left. It's it's an instance, just like um, the, the water place was. Um, that is going to be for levels um, 31 to 35. When you're in that level, you can do instance quests there. And then again, Garth Argoin, that quest place I was telling you about in the swamp in the lowlands over here, this one, that is also level 32 to um, 31 to 35, just like I already mentioned earlier. And then Evendim has a questing area 32 as well, but Orth Barton down here, this is the one that's like 29 to 31 ish again you can go there a little sooner than that if you want but that's this level of quest down here and then at that point now you're going to be like level 30 34 ish if you've done all those areas and again you don't have to do all of them guys if you're already at that level you don't have to do all three of those locations you can pick and choose but make sure you are doing the chapter which will pop you around to the different locations anyway 
so um, they'll move you around. But again, the next thing we're gonna do is, so now let's say you're getting closer, you're in 30 to 35, right? So check this out real quick. All right, so now if you look right here at the thing, uh, can I go a little closer for you guys? There we go, that's a little better, isn't it? All right, so now if your level's 30 to 35, right, you're gonna be doing um, the North Downs again, you'll be done with those areas. Those are the, again, if you see Lowlands and North Downs, they're talking about the instances, right? Basically the end part of those areas. But then you're gonna be moving on into the Troll Shaws, okay? So this is a weird look spot, because usually it's kind of hard and confusing a little bit when you get to round 30, you're like, where do I go next, right? If you're having troubles, um, you're gonna move to the North, the, the Troll Shaws and Evendip, okay? These are gonna be the areas you're moving into 32 to 35 to getting up to 40, right? And as you can see here, even the Four Nost instance is up to 40. There's one of them that's a big one right there, as you can see at the bottom. Um, but, and the Bruna Gorge, all these places, you're basically gonna be doing the Troll Shaws and Zevendim. That's what you're gonna be doing between levels 35 to 40. So again, I'll show you where they are on the map. Evendim, you're gonna be moving up. You're gonna be doing quests with rangers here. You're gonna be moved then to this island of Tenudir, and you'll be doing quests with them, and it will just guide you. And then you'll be later at Ostforad doing quests up to level 40. But Evendim, I love Evendim, it's beautiful. There's a lot of running, though, involved with the quests here. A lot of running indeed. And then, um, you'll go to um, the Troll Shaws too. You, I would recommend, if you're gonna say which one should I go to first, Evendim or the Troll Shaws, if you're like level 33, 34, I would go to Troll Shaws first, do quests here at um, Barachin's camp, this elf, and then you'll do stuff with him. There'll be chapters, you'll do some more stuff along the road, there'll be a little camp somewhere along the road, you'll help some elves, and then you're gonna be sent over to this camp, um, Thorinhad, which will have Elodin and Elro here, the uh, brothers, that are of Arwen, right? Sons of Elrond. You'll help them with some chapter quests. The, you really won't go up here very much. There's some like end game instances up here, but you do some quests all through here. You might go down here to um, Etchard, oh, it's so tiny, Kandeleth, and you'll do some quests for them as well. And then some quests around the Bruna Gorges. And there are, there's a camp of an elf up here. You can kind of skip that. By then, uh, Rivendell is more like level 38 to 40 quests, but mostly it's chapter quests you're going up there to do. Uh, Giant Valley, you won't worry about the Giant Valley right here. Um, but then again, at that point, you're probably gonna hop back up and be doing Evendim quests. And at that point, my friends, we're getting we're getting somewhere, okay? So at that point, my friends, we're gonna be in the level 40 to 45 range. And at that point, there's a few things you can do. So when you hit about level 40, or you're close, right? You should be, by the time you're finished with Evendim and Troll Shots, you should be around the level 40 cap. This is a real hard decision-making location because there's so much area to cover, okay? There's a lot of area to cover that you could do. All right, so I'm gonna pop up my little thing here again for you so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, bring this back up for you guys. So now if you look here and you look at it, so again, 34, uh, 35 to 40 what above it, what I was talking about already, right, locations, but now levels 40 to 45, okay? So Misty Mountains, North Troll Shaws, which is the instance area I was talking about, which you really don't, I would, if I were you, don't do the Northern Troll Shaw area. Just do what I told you. Um, you can do it if you want, or some quest leads you there and you want to do it, go for it. It's really up to you guys. This is all, take all of this with a, you know, what it, <laughs> at your own leisure. You don't have to do exactly what I'm saying, obviously, but I'm just trying to help give a guide out there because there's not a whole lot of guides about low troll online, about leveling. And I know this stuff seems simple, maybe to hardcore long MMO players or Lotro players, but it's gonna help some people, I'm sure, and I hope it does. So leave a like and subscribe if it helps you out, guys. Um, and then Troll Shaws is, we, we talked about that, so Angmar, okay? So the big, the big ones you're gonna be going to for level 40 is Misty Mountains, level 39 or 40-ish. That's, you're gonna go to Glowin's Camp above Rivendell, and then you're gonna go to Angmar or Forage Shell, okay? So, let me show that on the map here. I'll get this out of the way. Doodle -doo. Oop, if I can find my mouse. Okay, so if we go to, so now you're level 39 or 40. You can go up to Rivendell. Maybe you turn in a quest at Rivendell. Now go north of Rivendell into the Misty Mountains. Glowin's camp is right here, right, right above Rivendell. And you'll start with him and you'll start doing quests with him level 39-ish to 40. And he'll have you do quests all around here, right? Um, he's gonna send you to a camp that is, I believe, 
this one? One of these is a, I think it's this right here. One of these camps. But um, it's a camp in the mountains. He'll send you to that. You're gonna do quests with them all through down this area. Then you might go over to this. There's a spot over here where this saddled person is. You'll do some quests here. This lower part down here behind my camera, it's called South High Pass. It's really just higher level stuff. I wouldn't worry about doing it. And Giant Valley, same thing. It's more for a higher level doing it, like different group quest things and stuff. So if you get a quest that says for a group on this area and it's real high level, it's like level 45, don't worry about it. You can just move on to your soloing. If you have a group, do it. Sweet. That's awesome. All right. So then also let's say you don't want to be just doing everything in the Misty Mountains and you need more leveling. Well, Angmar will be your next location. So after you leave Esteldon in the North Downs, you'll go up through one of these passes. Be careful. There's little drake worms all over the place that will eat you. Um, I believe you go through the right pass. It doesn't matter, the left or right one. Uh, you can also take a horse from Selden, but you might have to learn it unless you're going to pay a mithril coin. So you might have to walk it or hoof it or use your normal horse to run it. There's going to be a little thing here, Lemma Koti. All right, so these are the Earthkin people, which are very cool. If you see my literature tale, we've already been here. In my one, if you should check out the playlist, it's fun. It's more entertaining than a guide, right? And uh, the Earthkin, they do a, they have you do a bunch of quests in here. And then you're going to move to here, and you're going to help the um, the good hillmen. So they're not all bad, right? They're good ones. So you're going to help them. You're going to do a bunch of quests out here in this whole area. Then you're going to be sent over to here. They might help these guys a little bit. You're going to do the chapter quest back and forth, back and forth from this camp. There's a ranger here. There's a location you have to pass here in Maladhad with like these watcher stones that have like the evil spirits in them. And if you don't get the quest and if you walk past them, you just die, just dead, okay? And you're like, what the heck? And you get sent back to the wrong spawn point. You're like, what, what, what the heck happened? Um, so you'll need to finish that quest to do that. And then you're gonna move down here to this dwarven encampment, um, Galbil Shazthur or something like that. It's a big long word. It's so tiny if you guys can't read it. Gabil Shather. It's a dwarven location. You'll do quests for them here, out here in this area. And then there is a camp up, up here, a little secret ca secretist camp. You'll do some quests around here if you want for them. But I skipped it in my Lotro Tail area. So again, you don't have to do these. These are hard areas to level. And then you'll move up here for the chapter quest at Goth, um, Gath uh, Forner, right? And there's a lot of chapter quests up here and some more quests to do around this locations. There's some really hard quests in here. Which again, you see my Lotro Tail. And up here, this is for a raid. You don't need to go up here um, if you don't have to. You can also take a Mithril coin and get up there real quick with the horse. So lots of stuff because there is a horse master up there as well. So again, that's real high level. This is max level. This raid, it's level 50. Well, <laughs> max back in the day. The max level is 140 at the time of me making this guide video. But uh, <laughs> that was the original max level area raid. Still a very cool raid. Um, so those are other areas. Now, let's say you want another option to do from your level 40 to 45 to 50 area, right? You're going to go to Forichel at level 40, right? You're going to go down here. I'm going to move over for you. Um, right there. So you're going to go to that location there, Tarin Othron, um, Thron, And it's basically you're helping the Lossoth people, which are the northern humans that are, like, very um, tribal. They kind of remind me of, like, um, Eskimos, right? North of Native America area. So... That's pretty cool. Um, they're very cool. And uh, you help them a lot. And then you pass through this awesome ice crevice to get to this place. And you help them. This is around level, I don't know, 43, 44. Again, all these locations have similar level quests. You might have to go back and forth. You might have to do one area and then go to the other area and do some lower level quests to catch up to do the higher level in that area because you need more XP. That kind of stuff, guys. So keep that in mind while you're doing this. And then um, you also be sent over here to do quests here. And then lastly, but not least, you'll be sent over to this capital of theirs to do quests. And there's also a little area up here you might do quests. All these, usually when there's a horse or one of those symbols of a settlement, there'll be quests there to do. Um, I like this area. It's very fun, but it's very cold and warm, torn north and wind blowing. It's, it's, I like to say it's like Alaska. If you've ever been there, I've been to Alaska, but um, very cold and northern or Russia or something, right? All right, well, that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna bring this back up and just show you the last little bit of something here. So if you look here, um, just like I showed you, all the starting levels, level 40, Angmar, Forichel, and Misty Mountains, I explained all three of them. And then level 45 to 50, again, Misty Mountains, Angmar, um, a region, Forichel, Ered Lewin is, okay, so what this is, it's a small location 
to the in air um in air lewin that's like for a higher level it was like an end game area in the original level one to 15 area right at the start that's all that is again angmar angmar talked about all of these locations and you can click on these and they'll show you the different breakdowns right in this wiki article that's why they, if i hover them they light up uh the misty mountains goblin town which is uh in that top right of the misty mountains i didn't say goblin town but it's the area i said you'll quest in that northern right area and then again angmar is all these other stuff right and then if you saw um a region here right here level 45 to 50 this is another option i don't usually do it okay so let me show you real quick so if you want level 45 to 50 let's say you just go and quest in the misty mountains right up here goblin town's right over here by the way somewhere right right here there it's somewhere on that hill right here this mountain just you can look for it there but the glowin's up there you help glow into he kind of moves with you um if you're level 44 45 you could just go back into the troll shaws go through the giant valley here and there's a little two a region and two different locations or you go by this river down here so either one will work and then basically you'll go into that and then this area will be level 45 to 50 as well so if you don't want to do forge shell you don't want to do a lot of angmar you're going to have to go to angmar angmar though you're going to have to go to the misty mountains for the the, the chapter books um forge shell has a little bit of something but it's not a lot and a region doesn't really have a lot of the chapter books it basically just sends you from rivendell to the walls of moria to start moria with the chapter things uh, but you basically come in and you'll do this area this area it's very self-explanatory this area then you go down and do this area and then here is the front where you'll do the hall and gate entrance to the moria quests and this is where you get your first legendary items well what do you guys think of that so we just did from levels um 20 to 50 in a quick explanation and then if you look here i'm going to show you one more thing on this if you look from levels 50 um again all these level 50 things all the it shows you where all the books are right for level 50 book 8 book 9 book 10 a lot of stuff happens in level 50 book 11 book 12 you don't have to be doing these all at 50 you could be doing these as you go starting at like level 45 you'll see it'll just guide you through it with all these books different areas evendim troll shaws evendim angmar forichel um and then evendim and numinos is has instances see small group up here it says group size solo all the different things so this is very self-explanatory this wiki page for if you even if you're new to mmos but it should help you guys out. Heligrod is a raid. See, 12 and, tw and 24 man raid in the Misty Mountains. That is a scaling raid now. Some some instances don't scale. But now that they have the instance finder, they've made it where some scale. So you could do them at 140 if you wanted to now. And they're still challenging. It's kind of fun. And then we'll do 50 to 85 next time. So I hope that helped you out, guys. And then also I have this other little page here. And this one is a... I'll have both these links in the description for you. But this one is zone by level. And again, it's real quick, like each one you can click, right? It's level one to 50, which we've talked about in this episode, in the last episode, right? All the different locations. And then this would be one of the, like an instance area or place. Sinaran is, um, if you're curious what that is, real quick. It is, get this out of the way for a second. Here in Aaron Lewis, it's right up here. It's like an end game area in the low level area. So if you're doing uh, quests up in this area, Make sure you don't go to the back of this. You'll be do quests at Noglong, like I said in the last episode. Don't go to the back and go out of this fortress because at level 45, if you're level 10, you'll die so fast. <laughs> so just warning you ahead of time. But anyway, how was that? I hope that helped you guys out. It's all an iron shield. I like to... Here we go. All right, anyway. Yep. So I like to move when I have my character talk. Kind of like if you ever watch Red vs. Blue, that Halo parody silliness kind of fun to make them move while you talk because then it looks like they're interacting with you i love that i know a lot of people said they like that <laughs> all right anyway my friends i hope that helped you guys out with this guide video and um check all these places these two links i'll put the two links in the description so you can check them both out thank you so much for joining me and Zalon today on voice of the rings We'll see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Quick shout out and thank you to my Patreons and Mr. Ravel for being a Royal Guard level. I appreciate it greatly, guys. If you want to support me, links down in the description. Get to join our Discord through that. And then also I've got free Twitter and Facebook. And you can join my Twitch account, which I will stream other games on too occasionally. I do other stuff that's not always Lord of the Rings on Twitch. 
other video games, but this channel, YouTube, always stays Lord of the Rings, so click that subscribe button if you like Lord of the Rings content. It's not just Lotro we do. I do all sorts of things, but Lotro is just such a great game for Lord of the Rings, right? And the next episode of this will be in the top left, and our main playlist for Lotro Tale will be right over there. So check them all out, my friends, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings, and I hope that helped you from levels 20 to 50. A little explanation guide for you. Zolan out. Hadad, I may